Hiya, Kiki here, and I am going to give you an overview on the unplugged activity, Happy Loops. This is new for courses A through F, so you might have some questions, but if you think of it this way, hopefully it won't be too, too terribly complicated. We wanna take what we did with Happy Maps, where we have a grid where the flurb is trying to get to the fruit, and we want to make it bigger. So instead of just saying, oh, I wanna go over and up, now maybe the flurb has to go over, 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 over and up. And then the students need to problem solve a way to make that code smaller and easier to write. The good news is, is that students with some familiarity with numbers will kind of want to come up with this on their own because they will start to notice that, oh gosh, I don't have enough arrows to make this happen. Or can't I just say do this three times and then go up? Uh, if they don't come to that conclusion on their own, you are more than welcome to interject and give them that idea. Hey, maybe this would be easier. Want to give it a try? And then you can give them the vocabulary afterwards. If, you're, if your class likes to know what they're about to do and, and you like to give them the vocabulary and prep them ahead of time, that's fine. But if you let them stumble upon this one and then say, hey, that's a loop. We call that repeating, and you can use a repeat loop to make things happen using less code. That's a great way to get them ready for the lessons yet to come. So I hope you have a great time with this. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below or tweet me at Kiki vs. IT. Happy coding!